Hey guys, what's up? World Coyote here, bringing you a brand new video on this goddamn bag of shit we like to call the internet. And today we are starting series two of our Ghana on Geopolitical Simulator 4. Um, so we're going to be doing this one a bit different this time. We are going to be Democratic opponents, or I might turn it to a terrorist group, whatever I can really be asked to do. But I'm going to quickly start on that. And you can pause if you want to see the settings I've got it on. So, I've got a bit of stuff written down here, so my main goals for this uh, Let's Play are obviously to gain office, either by force or by Democrat, League, race, stuff, things. But, here are my main goals. I want to have the most patents in the world, so that's increasing funding to our research centres. I want to be a minor holder in all the sectors in Ghana, that's, you know, of everything. And you may hear my dog in the background, he just wants a bit of a fuss. Let him on the bed, please, bud. One minute, guys. Sorry about that, guys, and sort out my dog. Uh, he's at the moment got his front legs on the bed and back legs off the bed and crying at World Game of React. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, Hello, I want to be minor holder of all sectors. Secretary. And I want to conquer West Africa. So first thing we're going to do here guys is we're going to get some meeting requests going. So I want to meet up with a businessman. Oh guys, you don't like me. Left wing. Let's uh, change the date. Let's have you on Monday the second. Um, and I will meet up with the right wing anyway to see if we can get a bit of a. Uh, thank you. There we go. All right. <laughs> thank you. And hey, come here. Say hi. Hola. That was wild game react. So don't forget go subscribe to his channel. <coughs> Um, he's also still a bit ill, we took him to the doctor's yesterday and he's got antibiotics and all that, so he's, he's d doing a bit better now. I'm not, fe I'm not feeling well now, he's gave it to me. So we're going to, we got meet, met up with a businessman, we're going to try and meet up with somebody in government if possible. For culture. Right, I'm going to go with research or education, so... Try and get a meeting with you. See what stuff we can get in here. If we got one for, got one for labour, religion, homeland security, transport. Um, okay, we're the only political party. I'm going to meet up with a union. Um, so let me see, federal. Local unions. That's agriculture. So I'm actually I want to put one million subsidies into the agricultural side of the economy. So we're going to do this, and we're going to meet up with them on four. Other than that, guys, we are going to cancel, please. Other than that, real quick, we're going to have a quick look at when our elections are. So they are on the 13th of 12th, 2020. So we've got three years until we have a. An election, so um, what do I want to do? Actions funding. I'm gonna start. I know it's a bit early, but I'm gonna launch a quick fundraising campaign to see what money we can pull up. Um, right, funding violent groups. We're gonna put about five in and. Can you go check uh, the doors off, please, bud? Go check the doors off. Stop. Sorry about that, guys. Um, right, we're going to put about five into that, so, I mean, we're not going to get much out of it, but anyway. Um, that's about it, guys. We're going to just now click play. Try and think of it as. Yeah. So, I mean. A little bit of facts about Ghana. Um, it's an ex-British colony. Um, obviously, Britain owned it during the Second World War. If you play Hearts of Iron, you'll know that. But 
I mean, I ought to think, and this is my own political opinion, in Britain I think we should teach a bit more about political history. So right, a meeting up and coming here. So we're going to offer him a coffee. Sure. Do you want a glass of champagne? I'd be happy to. Oh, okay. Um, you are definitely the most richest and uh, kind of most kindest man in the world. Um, we're going to make you a promise. Um, shit. But, uh, shit. Um, I don't know what to, uh, what to do in this. He's left wing, so, um, what the left wingers like? Do I go for taxation? I'm going to go for taxation, and we're going to, we're going to make a false promise about that. I mean, obviously not going to do this. I'm sorry, but we still. Oh, okay. Film me? Yes. Good idea, thank you. Right, right, so we can hire me. Mm, yeah. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, thank you. Right, I think that's. Have a meeting, and we're going to continue on. We've got a few meetings today. What's that smell? Fat. Isn't it? Took a bit of a tea in it. Um, while gaming reactors fight, they set a light to a bit of a uh, tissue. Is it out? That was an awful smell. Oh, right, we got a meeting here. So we're going to offer a glass of champagne. Uh, you are definitely the uh, richest and uh, most generous. That's the way it is. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, you yeah, promise. Um, I know one thing. That I'm obviously I'm not going to fulfil on these promises because I think, to be fair, what's the bloody point? So we're going to bring this down to fifty. Campaign promise huh. that doesn't have to be turned down. Thank you. Um, yes. It's thank you. Mm, ah, yeah. come on. Anyway, let's hope sure. We, we seem to. Have uh, right. So we're going to continue on now. I mean, there's nothing really much to do here, but we're going to look at where our ad with a glass of champagne. Oh, that's not too You all alcoholics and guys. You're not bad yourself. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Minister of Education. Now, I know what the Minister of Education would like. And now, with the increased funding into the education sector, now we're going to put... Bang straight up 221.4 million Ghanese money. Oh. You too. You've. Oh. You've got some nerve saying that to Ma me. Might as well try it. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, that's one promise that I will fulfill, is I will put money into that. So let's have a quick look at the distribution of parliament. So the conformist right coalition has 148 seats while we have 80. Oh, agricultural offer a coffee? Sure. Oh, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's now to be turned down. <coughs> uh, your militants can be your proud. You can't. You? Other than that. Yeah, but in there, why are we got American? We're an agricultural labor union leader. Uh, Right. Where is what I want? Transportation. So it's political parties, family, state housing, immigration, justice, parliament, police, environment, energy. Oh. Now here's a bit of a problem. Um. I don't know. Right. I think that's all then. Right. So, we are above on popularity. Let's have a quick read of the papers. Prison lifestyle. For their wedding anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Kometa took a very elegant and very expensive trip to 7th heaven in a space shuttle. Fucking hell. Fucking pause. Right. What was it originally? We can do the survey, see what the people think. Mm. 
we're gonna vote against this one. And yeah, close. So, the government has proposed. A yeah, I know. Great. The billionaire 12 .5 has Twelve million dollars. I mean, I'm happy with that. Great. The billionaire has million. transferred. So. We're currently still launching that, so let me see. Corporate donations. So we have how much do we have? But yeah, what I was saying, a bit of history about Ghana. Um, during the slave trade eras, back as you would probably know, there was something called the uh, African Triangle, I believe it was. It came up here, across here, across here, and up here. I'm sorry, but you I... You disagree, I don't give a crap what you think, mate. It's my nation, not yours, when I take over. Yeah, so you had the African Triangle, I believe that's actually... I think it was coming into here, and then it processed up, or it came across here, up here, across here. So yeah, there was a big triangle of African colonies, you know, transporting, and in Ghana, I believe it's in the city of Accra, or somewhere around there, there's a nice little fort, well, I wouldn't say nice, not to the Ghanaian people, they don't find it nice, but a period fort um, in Accra that, um, that the slaves used to be brought to and held until they were shipped off to the colonies. It's got a bit of a pause here. So, Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Um, you got a conflict against Tokohabam. Uh, Just word. because you are the opposition doesn't mean you... Alright, let's read what the newspaper has to say. Once it clicks on that. So, presidential election. Hamid Bahami resumed. I don't know how to pronounce that because to me that says shitty. <coughs> but I don't propose they are the correct terminology. Um, there's really nothing I can do right now other than actions. Um. Right, we're going to launch, pro launch protest action. We do not agree with you. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, one minute. Pause. Pause. Okay, we're just gonna do this about, um... I don't believe there is... Education. Criticism in the media. I am sorry, but I was spotted following them. Perhaps it's because of my for car. For a for a three. Three. Discreet, isn't it? Discreet, isn't it? Right, I knew a shit fucking secret service. Okay. Right, there was a scandal about me. So I've lost a bit of pop, uh, pop, pop, publicity. Um, let's have a little look at our nation. So... You are not doing too well. I've really just got to sit back and wait, don't I? Family and friends. Go we'll meet with my wife. But in the future, our relationship's going to be like presidential ones. We've got to make meetings when we can meet each other. 
to come back home. Uh, do you have a meeting to be in the bathroom at the moment? No. Then I'm gonna have to ask you to step aside, sir. Thank you. Hmm. Well, this is uh, telling me. One thing I will be setting up once I gain power is a high speed rail line connecting Accra to Tema. Actually, I'm going to quickly call over my um, Ghanaian expert. <coughs> Babe? Yeah. You're my Ghanaian expert, come here. Um, the transport network, what is it like in Ghana? Apparently, there's a. Um, we can't. I've got to be confusing that with YouTube. Um, there is a, um, a hell of a ton of taxis. But what about. Public transport as in such, as such like buses, rail lines. So, would you say that uh, Ghana would um, benefit with a high speed rail line between Accra and Kumasi? I don't even know where Kumasi is, but that's a bloody beautiful name. Uh, right, so it's psychiatric hospitals. Yeah. Oh, do it to the tourist location. Right, no, you can really only connect between... They have to always start in the city, end in the city, but if I really wanted, I could come across here, connect it to my naval base, connect it all to my, uh, to my troops, and then come up to Kumasi. The only ones they have is Tempa, Accra, Kumasi, and... Tameo. Tameo. Uh, the only ones probably sure is Accra and Tema. Um, I want to yeah, make... okay. Don't forget to turn off the mics and take your socks off. Oh, yeah. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. We're having sex tonight. You're the most beautiful oh, woman in the nice world, of darling. You. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> See, whoever said romance was dead. <laughs> The fundraising campaign didn't go as well as we had expected. We are very d Still made some profit, so don't start patronizing me, you bag of shit. Not you, Bab. I'm still recording. What are you doing? Oh. I thought you were going to watch another YouTube video while I record one. We're going to put a bit more funding into... So we'll put in a further 100,000 into here once I can click the button. Thank you. Bloody stupid thing. Look at that. 69% um, voted for the rest were. I think they abstained, so. We're going to put 100,000 into funding violent groups. Fast forward, really. Oh, can you go check what the front doors like, please? Did you? Oh, okay. Uh, we have a solar park here, Nemza Solar Park. So, possibly more solar parks around here would be a good idea. Increase our energy output a little bit, and I believe energy makes a lot of money. But let me have a quick look at the Ghanaian. So I wrote it down before just. Ghanaian, Ghanaian, what? Right, the Ghanaian GDP. And I'll write it down in pounds, which is 29.4 billion pounds in GDP. And this is, uh, one trillion. Oh, God's sake. Me now. One trillion. Uh, let's just have a little look at the. Last time I checked, we had an unemployment rate of 5.1. So this uh, president has brought it down to about 4.87. So good on him for that. Population is about 28 million, so yeah, that's about the same. Um, inflation at 16.9, he's actually brought the inflation down, and growth is at 3.6. That's not good growth. No, growth came down a bit, so 
He's not doing too bad as a peasant, I'll give him that, but... We're going to... Um... This is obviously quite important. No. They're cutting that out for employing seniors. And actions. I want to launch encourage. Is there an old people's one? So gold is quite high in our nation, I guess. Where's for old? Seniors, where's seniors? I just saw it. Okay. Let's see if these people will want to. Wrong track. How? They just cut your funding to something to help seniors work. Oh, but looking at the time, guys, we're going to have to end it there. If you did enjoy today's video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And what did I just do? Oh, yeah. Um, please do like, comment, and subscribe. But anyway, from me, Raw Coyote, and World Gamer Reacts back in the background there. See you next time, guys.